All right, everybody. I'm going to do a review on the Quark AA Turbo. I know everybody's seen nothing fancy. Do the the uh, four sevens. All right, this is what it came with. You know, of course, the fancy box, fancy smancy. But the reason I went with this instead of getting another one of these, which is the Phoenix, this is the L2D. They they discontinued that uh, that slicker thing with the L20D. Uh, I wish they would have kept that. That I like that for EDC. I like the smooth. It just felt better. But don't get me wrong. The 20D is a excellent light. Uh, many of the same functions. Of course, uh, the Phoenix has the cork beat in a few areas. As far as a work light for EDC, the Phoenix beats the four sevens. And as far as a, if you need a longer throw in a double A weapons light, there is none better than this right now. As of this date, March 31st, 2010, this is simply the best double A weapons light. If you wanted to run this on your, on your rifle and you have to have double, now there's some one, two, three battery sizes and, and some others, but this is the best double A, double, two double A wet light that you can get for, a, that would work as a weapons light. If you're like me and try to keep everything rechargeable. Uh, this is what it comes with. Anyway, like I say, it this this here, the Phoenix, is better EDC for 90% of the public. Uh, if you get out in the country and you need the further throw, you can see that this has a clear, deep reflector, which is also, it's about 30, what, 35, 25, it has 25 lumens more brighter on this one than the, this one. But the clear reflector, this has an orange peel, which makes it disperse. So if you were clearing a house or something, this would be better. This is more of an outdoor, what I needed on the farm type light. I needed something with some more throw on it because when I go out checking things, sometimes I'm not that close to it. This right here is very usable. It get, throws a usable light to 100 yards, whereas this one would throw a usable light to 50 yards. It, you know what? I'm, a, I'm gonna I'm gonna be conservative. I'm gonna say uh, usable light on this one to 30 yards, and a usable light on this one to 75. Okay. Uh, if you have good night vision and everything and, and don't have extra lights glaring at you, you could get 100 yards out of it. They say more. They, they say 150. I say uh, 75, okay? All right, and this, it comes with an excellent case. Uh, it does have a flap that covers over, steel deer ring, has a place for a belt loop right here. And this is really necessary on the turbo model because it has to be carried that way in the in your case up. I mean, it you can sh shove it in uh, that way, but you know it defeats the purpose. Of course, I put the tape around here. I took the clip off of it that it comes with. It comes with a super heavy duty lanyard, which I don't use. Comes with this rubber handle thing. I don't use it, but it's there. You might like it. And the clip is very good, very stout clip. But I don't use it, so it's not on it. So if I, I ain't said that enough. If I don't use it, I don't put it on it. Comes with some extra O-rings. Uh, this is programmable. I've got it set at 22 lumens and it with a twist. You do it bright. Now, I'm going to put a link on my more info section that shows how to program this. Somebody that's a lot better at programming it than I am. I'm just showing you the difference. 
and why I upgraded to this instead of that is because I have more throw and uh, I needed I still wanted to stay double A so so that is the four sevens cork let me tell you a little bit about it okay it has a moonlight mode that's point two lumens which is just barely on I don't use it 205 maximum and that would be for 1.3 hours is what they're saying has SOS strobe bink, beacon modes uh, let's see also has uh, low is four lumens uh, the next thing up is 22. The next one up from that, I believe, is like uh, 80 or so lumens. It doesn't really say on the box, but anyway, top is 205. I, I set mine for 22, which is what I use mostly. This, I mean, around inside the house to double up as my work light I use the uh, that but if I'm outside and I need that throw you know I, I can twist it and give me the 22 it will not stand up it's got a switch that sticks out uh, what else can I say is different I gotta hurry up I'm gonna doing a lot of uh duh but I'm gonna put links to people that do better videos on the the the, the programming of this particular light uh just nobody else has done one with the turbo this it's the only difference in this the quark uh double a tactical and the double a turbo is the turbo has the bigger head on it which gives you more distance more throw on it uh so that's what i needed that's why i chose this for my new edc whereas if i didn't live on a farm uh the Phoenix is a better EDC, EDC light, uh, because simply because the attachments and uh, the 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 lightness and the beam pattern on this lends itself to a better EDC work light than this. This is more specialized, uh, would make an excellent weapons light, and a double A. Well, actually, it's it's the best double A weapons light there is right now as of this date so uh seen it uh, let me just take it apart real quick so everybody can say that i i took it apart for them there's power, power dex batteries there it is apart voila put it back together Oops, put it together backwards. Put it together the right way there. And like I say, I put electrical tape on the end of it because uh, I usually wind up biting down on the end of it anyway. So, got a little electrical tape. And that's the Quark AA Turbo. And I will put some links uh, to the side to show you how to program this. Uh, somebody that's a whole lot better at it than I am.